Today, I want to show you the fastest way to fill generalist trophy journals without using crafting, without doing any kind of weird construction hijinks. This is purely mob grinding. We're going to go to a tier 4 static zone, and we're going to use our best equipment possible with the highest spec that we have. And uh, in this case, I'm using a Shadow Caller build uh, with Hellion Jacket, Scholar Cal, Guardian Boots, the Roast Pork, Trip Candle Thetford Cape, I've got the Winter Bear to tank, and uh, essentially we're going to be able to fill up over 1 million plus, this is like a million 300,000 fame worth of generalist trophy journals, and I'm just going to basically mass pull as many of these mobs as I can, and uh, stack them all up, and just uh, kill them all at once, or at least try to, and uh, there we go. So this is one pretty hefty pull here, it is a big boy pull. Alright, but I have the gear to do it. I'm not too worried. And eventually these mobs, well, they're gonna be hitting me pretty hard here, but they will still, they're all about to die. And I'm gonna look at my HP, and also some nice loot there too. I really don't like that I had this archer uh, in the group, but that's fine. Because I'm just gonna nuke them down. And, uh, <laughs> can't wait to show you how much, uh, how many tomes filled up from just this one pull. It's such a great pull. Now, um, you can also do this for fame farming, but uh, it is quite expensive, especially if you have the satchel. I'm just picking these up to get them off the uh, the ground so that I can click on them easier. And let's see how many tomes I filled up, okay? So we filled up 15 of these tier 2s immediately. We've got 4 of the tier 3s. I only have 2 more tier 2s, and then, oh, we already also filled up tier 4. Uh, which, it should fill in order from left to right, top to bottom. So it's going to fill up these uh, 2 generalist tier 3s and then the tier 4. And uh, the way you fill these up, for those that don't know, they don't know what this is, this is how you level up laborers. And it fills up by doing anything that gives you fame. Anything that at all in the entire game that generates fame uh, will fill these journals up. And for me, well, I can farm a ton of fame at a time by just AOEing down static group dungeon mobs. These mobs are generally meant for you to take on as a group. Not so much solo, but because they are soloable for me because of my uh, my gear imbalance and my, my spec, it's uh, it's a really, really good way to fill these up. So that's what I'm doing. And uh, we're going to be doing this for about 30 minutes and see how many journals we can uh, fill up. Get some nice items, little item drops along the way too. And I like to do really big pulls, um, so I don't want to waste too much time on the, these little baby pulls. So I'm just going to slink on over this way and see what all I can grab. That is Archer Wizard. I got... There's an Archer down here. I'll just go ahead and fight this group. And uh, I'm trying to avoid their attacks. I'm also trying not to pull the group on the left because that is a dangerous pull with two Wizards. Also the Pukey guys. I don't know their names. I don't read the names right now. I'm just kind of doing my own little thing here. And yeah. Just gonna keep keep doing this for quite some time here and uh, enjoy the video. <laughs> Looks like I'm getting kind of low on health. That's fine. I have that Hellion jacket. Now, of course, uh, the game has 8.4 introduced. I don't have any 8.4 items. I just have the old 8.3 legacy items here. So uh, it would be much easier if I did have those, but I don't. So. And it looks like these pulls... Oh, there's still more items on the ground. It looks like these pulls aren't looking that good. There's way too many casters, not enough melee, so... I'm not gonna bother. Well, I pulled this one. I might as well, just because I pulled them. I wanted... The bigger the pulls, the faster I can fill these up, and the more uh, I get out of my time. But hey, that's fine. These, these still give good fame, you know? If you want, you can just kill every mob with a kind of a glowing glowingness to them. And, and, and that'll give you the most fame. Like, <laughs> that's just... This is how it is. And these things, they hurt a little bit, but it's fine. I can always hop on the mountain and run away if I'm getting too close to death. There we go. So how many have we filled so far? So we've got... Let me do a little sorting here. And we're going to move this to the top, move that to the top. And there we go. We have filled 15, 7, and then now we're working on the tier 4s. These take 5,400 fame to fill at a time. And also, just a note... The fame that you get, like if you get more fame from premium, a fame week, satchels, those don't apply to your journals. Yeah, they do not. It's only the base amount of fame that these mobs generate, not the bonus fame. So you keep that in mind. Also, this archer is really annoying and it won't stack up with the, the wizard here. So 
Uh, I'm having to heal kind of early because of that, because they're both DPS powerhouses, okay? Uh, they deal lots of damage, uh, they're very scary mobs, and yes, I know I stand in some of the attacks, but it's fine. At this point, I, uh, I have plenty of options, I can just exit combat, I can grow big, so many ways to deal with them. Alright, we're gonna resummon our mount, and it's, it's a good idea to unsummon your mount every once in a while so it can heal. I think it's like 18 seconds, uh, un unsummoned. Let's go ahead and take care of this group, and I'm not- I'm trying to be careful with, uh, anything with ranged mobs. The wizards and the archers are the ones that are going to deal the most damage. Not so much these sword guys. The sword guys, they're just kind of like, whatever. But this- this archer, like, they like to move around. See, it dodged my, uh, my puddle. So I have to recast that now. And yes, I am standing in a few attacks, but it's okay. I am stunned by the arrow. It's still okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and heal here so I can begin to pull the next group without having any downtime. And we're gonna finish off the melee guy here. There we go, down he goes. Awesome. Got uh, some fame tomes there too. Let's, uh, let's see. That's a melee guy, one archer. See, none of these mobs are glowing, so they're not really worth as much except for this one patrol. So, we can let them do their attacks and then dismount. That's how we can, uh, remember the bears, HP, and armor. You know, when you're mounted, it goes to the mount, so you might as well let it do a little bit of use, take some of those hits. Alright, this is a pretty easy pull. I, I hate doing these small pulls, I like to do the big ones. Just because I can, you know, fill more tomes, that's what it's all about. So let's see, this one is... It looks like it just started, so we're at 23 of these filled, I have 200 more to fill. Might not be able to fill all of those in the 30 minutes, but we'll see. Let's see, that's archers, and... Yeah, I want to kill the archers. So this is a non-glowing group. This is just a very basic symbol group. Uh, very easy to kill. They're not very threatening, but... Because this group to my bottom right is two wizards, I... I don't know, I'm not confident enough. I want to take it easy today. Also, for those that aren't aware, like... <laughs> I know most people won't be, but it's actually really hard to pay attention to the game and constantly be talking. So we filled, what, two... That was a two journal job. That sucks. We need we need more juicy mobs. Some juicers up in here. This one's a little harder, so I'm gonna try to get those archers and that one little baby wizard nice and grouped up. The melees will come to wherever I'm standing, so it's not a big deal. Uh, we can just kind of type them around, but we do want to get rid of that archer first. I'm gonna have him as my main target and drop our heal, one more puddle, drop our W, and try to just kill that archer as fast as we can. The only only two melees are left alive, they'll move into the puddle just kind of naturally, weave in some auto attacks, and here we go. It's a 1v1 now at this point, and this guy should go down pretty quick. We can stand in that sword slash, not a big deal. And we can see here that filled four journals, not two, so it's twice as efficient to kill the ones that glow that kind of green hue, like this. Like, that's an all melee group, that's good. We can maybe pull this melee guy, that's good. And then, I, I, can, I, can, I, can do, I can do all of these. We can do it, we're powerful enough. We have what it takes. Look at how much I'm going to heal from this. I've got my shield up. Shortly here, I'm gonna grow tall, there we are. And now we're just dealing tons and tons of damage. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Hellion Jacket just to kill them faster. Now let's see, we are at 29 filled journals. How much do you think this is going to fill? This is a very nice and juicy pull. This is what we want to do the whole time, but sometimes that's not always possible. I am standing in spells. I should not do that. Look at my health. It's kind of critical, but that's okay. All right, so we went from 29 to 40. That was an 11 journal <laughs> job, okay? Also, I have to cull my inventory every once in a while because it's going to fill up with these tier 2 items, which I don't want clogging up my inventory spaces, because this will fill up pretty quickly in the, in, in the time that we do this. Alright, now we can uh, we can continue along this route, maybe clear this side. Sometimes there's treasure up here, you know, it's it's not all that bad. That's a that's a three ranged group, these are four archers. I'll just aggro these two. Okay, let's try to get all of them, let's try to get rid of those two archers kind of in the back there. And our bear can take it, you know, our bear's, he's losing some HP, but it's okay. It's not a big deal. We are fine. We're absolutely doing okay right here. We take out all of these dudes. 
And uh, unfortunately, we can't really line of sight. It's not really a thing. I mean, it is for us, but not for the enemies. We are frozen and stunned, so that's not good. Not good, but that's okay. I have a, I have two backup heals. I can remount on the bear. And yes, there we go. Quick and easy kills. So far, so good. Yoink the loot. Oh, I'm just going to destroy that. It's tier 3. I don't want it. Just going to start destroying things. That way it's not left on the ground. You know, don't leave your trash on the ground, man. This is a very small baby pool. I'm going to go ahead and kill it because it's going to cause problems if I don't. And, uh, you know, it can always respawn as a non-baby pool. So we can kill this really quick, though. This archer only has 5,000 HP. I don't know. That sounds like a lot if you're a new player. But when you're a full 8-3 or I guess 8.4 is the new trend. Guys, <laughs> I don't know how long it's going to take for me to get 8.4 gear. I I have no idea, but once I do, oh, just imagine the, 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 the damage. The damage will be glorious. See, someone left their trash on the ground. Don't do that. Don't be that guy. That's not a fun pool. That is... Oh, we got the melees from down below and the arch. I'm, I'm bailing. My mount's about to die, so this is not a good... See, we killed these mobs earlier, so we're, we can exit combat, luckily. And then I've got a 21 second cooldown on my mount, so I'm gonna I'm gonna play it safe. Just kill this little band of ranged dudes here, just to be safe. You know, I'm playing it safe today because, uh, well, it's uh, it's kind of late for me. I, uh, I I don't know. Been kind of feeling crappy lately. I mean, not not too bad, but I just want to take it easy. I don't want to like over pull. You know, I don't want to do some crazy stunts. Maybe every once in a while, but. Not every single time. Okay, the mount is back up. We've got 48 filled, 182 to go. We can do it, guys. We can fill these these bad boys up. That's a really risky pull. But I think I can do it. We got everybody grouped up. Server's going down in 30 minutes. That's okay. We got, you know, we got a food buff here for like 20 more minutes. We can do it. We can fill these journals up. And I do this every day. I do this every single day. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I, I, uh, and by the way, I just want to mention, uh, I didn't, I didn't surely show it off because it's not the subject of the video, but, um, even though I am not using my satchel and I have auto respect turned off, like, I'll show you. My satchel is turned off and my auto respect is off, right? I, you still get a lot of combat fame credits. You, oh, dang, I don't want that. Get out of my inventory. You get a lot of combat fame credits, and I'm getting a lot of faction points for doing this, so it is absolutely worth it. It is, uh, it's never not worth doing. I'm surprised that these areas aren't completely full. Hey, look, there's a, there's a chest here. I didn't even see it. I haven't been paying attention. Uh, but yeah, there's a little chest here, a little easy mob, and let's, ooh, that's purple? We got 67k? I mean, you know, it's free money, right? But see, this is what I'm talking about, like... Our inventory is going to fill up pretty damn fast uh, from all this stuff here. And, uh, you know, every, when it does fill up, I could go, you know, back to town and sell. Or I could just cull all the um, the crappy things that aren't worth very much silver. Which is probably what I'll do starting with this tier 3 item here. You know, say see you later to that. And let's go do some more juicer pools, man. Let's get those big boy pools. Like, look at all these melee units. Yeah! Yeah, man, that's what I'm talking about. Let's try to get that. That's a little baby wizard. He can't hurt us, okay? He's just a little baby. Oh, no, our mount is gone. What will we do? Look at my HP just completely drop down and then go right back to the top. And, uh, yeah, we're going to melt these dudes. And there's more melees. We could pull more melees and get this guy in the party. Like, come on, bro. Bring your friend. See, he's bringing his friend. They're knocking me around. They're trying to be bullies. It's not going to work. They don't have... Without archers, the melees do nothing. Without wizards, the melees cannot kill you. It is... It's great. Now, this one's getting a little testy with me, you know? Because he's... A, he, he hits pretty hard. These these glowing knight dudes, the dread knights. Especially if you don't dodge those attacks. But, uh, yeah. We completely knocked them out of the... <laughs> out of the ballpark. <laughs> okay, we got 64 filled. See, this is going so quick. It's so easy. I wanted to pull those dudes too, but well, can't can't always pull everybody. But we can we can get them now. We got a nice spread of. Let's let's let them kind of bunch up, get all nice and clustered. Drop the puddle, start auto attacking. Remember, every four auto attacks, we do an AOE attack. We got our AOE heal, our laser beam, which is an explosion, especially if they're standing in puddles, and if they are just completely defeated. Boom, easy. I'm I'm full health. My bear's not. My bear's, uh... Well, he's, he's healing. 
He or she. I don't know the gender of the bear. That's. Ooh, yeah. We. The thing is, we got two archers. One of them is a glowing archer. We want to kill the glowing archer first. It's the more dangerous one that deals more damage and stuns us. That one kind of in the back lines there is also very bad. Uh, but I can't really pull him with the rest. Okay, let's try to get... Okay, now the archers are clustered. That's good. There is a melee. We're going to yoink him into the group here. And, uh, yeah. So, now my mouth's gone. I have to be a little bit more careful. Because, as you can see, I'm starting to die here. And, uh, yeah, it's... You can, you can kind of, uh, if the archers are left alive too long, they'll land those stun arrows and then things get really bad. Which, um, both archers are still alive, so my health is dropping. I've, look at that, I'm at half HP. It's not super great right now. I have a health potion. I actually have my heal back on my E, which saved me. If I didn't have that, that heal back, I might not have won that. But hey, we did it. We're okay. And we got a little 20... Every time we get those fame tomes, that's 20k. That is 20k silver, and how many of those do we have? We have seven! Dude, 139k, and we've only been playing for, what, 15 minutes? It's, it's, it's good, man. It's, it's a good, it's a good little fame farm. I like it. We're gonna go up here now and try to grab some. There's usually mostly ranged mobs. Oh, that's real juicy. Oh, yeah. I don't like these archers, though, man. There's like, there's two baby archers. I want to get them nice and clustered together here. Yes, there we go. All the archers are kind of standing around next to each other. That's what we want. Get them all bunched up like a nice little happy family. And, uh, see, the, the cool thing about uh, uh, <laughs> the Shadow Caller is that there's no, there's no limit to your area of effect. The more mobs you can get standing around, the I mean, you're just hurting everybody, right? Okay, we'll get this melee, get him in the party here, get him in the group. There we go. Now it's down to just me and the one knight that I pulled. He's, he was late to the party. He's like, where did everyone go? Right? And uh, let's go ahead and puddle him. Drop the fat laser. And we can just stand on the bear and he will melt in that puddle. And the, the cursed stacks will just slowly kill him. And he can't do nothing to me. I'm on a bear. Like the bear's, you know, taking all the hits for me. So, you want to be lazy. That's why I brought the bear. That's, uh... That's not a fun group. That's two. They're glowing, though, so they're going to give a pretty good amount of fame. So I'm going to go ahead and take them out because... Uh, but they will start chewing through my HP. Just look at their auto attacks. They've already got me down by uh, 40%. So it's... Yeah, archers are scary, man. And they can stun you. If they stun you before you finish casting your self-heals, then guess what? Your heals don't go off, and they go on cooldown. We got a couple melees joining the fight here, and I'm getting, uh, I'm in a little bit of trouble, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop my R. Trying to kill this archer right here, I'm gonna focus him hard. And good, he's, he's down, let's go ahead and drop a puddle. Let's jump on the bear for a little bit of protection here. Let that archer die, there we go, archer's down. Now we can fight. We got more melees coming up too. So we'll go ahead and pull this melee, and uh, well, we got more melees. Now, this may look bad, but it's okay. I've got my E. I've got my, my giant boots. I can grow. Now, you'll see a lot of people, their builds, they involve stealth boots. If you use a stealth boot, it resets the fight. All the mobs return to their original positions. You basically run away from the fight. But I don't run. I just get bigger. I just grow swole and kill everything. <laughs> and I've got my swole bear here. You know, we're just a big swole family. That's, uh, <laughs> that's how it is, man. Uh, these bears don't skip leg day. These... Bears are just naturally natties. They're little natty fatties. Now, a lot of the melees should have respawned by now, so we can go sweep them up, just like so. And I don't like to fight that archer when there's pukey boys. The pukey boy, ooh, oh, that was close. He tried to knock me into the archers. They're strategizing, they're learning, they're getting smarter. But uh, the, the pukey boys deal a lot of damage, so I don't like to fight them along with archers, but they, they are considered melee. And after they do their big jump attack, they, their damage kind of sucks. And they don't have a big health pool, so they're kind of easy to deal with after that. Okay, there's a melee, one glow archer there. Oh yeah, look at that. There's a lot of melees here. Oh dang, I just aggroed a ton of archers. Oh dang. Did I group up the archers? No! They're bullying the bear. Okay, that's good. This is doable. Let's go. We can fight this. And I know this looks completely- oh, that- look at my health, oh crap. I'm panicking a bit. Don't stand in that? Oh, 
shoot. Bro, big. We're big. We're big. We're d our health is doubled. We're taking shields up. Weapons online. No, don't loot. Looting is not good right now. Activate Hellion Jacket. There's another player nearby. He's, uh... My bear is gone. Is he fighting? Is he helping? Yo, this guy's helping. But my, uh... Uh, I'm potioning up, potioning up, we're running, we're running. Okay, we're back in, we're going back in. We got our E back. Well, this guy kind of semi saved me, so, cool, good for him. What's he got? Go oh, he's full 83 also, yeah, he's, see, he's got the stealthy boots. See, in that case, in that case, you know, he, he could save his repair bill, but it's okay. If I go down, I only lose about 200,000 silver, guys. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> I know people are like, what the hell? 200,000 silver is a lot. It's, well, it's, it, it, it used to be a lot. I, I remember the days, man. I was new too at one point. I know what it's like. I remember. What I don't like is these double archers being close to the glowing archer. I don't like that. I'm not, I'm not a fan. Alright, let's get everybody nice and jumbled up together here. Everybody, you know, stand in the pool. You know, get your feet wet. Don't worry about the, the spooky ghosts under your feet clawing at your undead bones. I mean, you've already died once, dude. Just let me kill you again, right? I mean, undead, like, think about it. If you're an undead skeleton, you've already died. What is the worst that can happen? You die again? Oh no. Right? Like, maybe, maybe you want someone to come along and kill you, right? Because, you know, being a skeleton, you don't get to eat. You don't really get to sleep. Uh, I don't know. Seems kind of... Kind of sad, you know? Unless you're like, I don't know, a cool skeleton in a cool guild, you know? Full of, like, succubuses and, uh, vampires and... Oh, what else? What, well, I'm trying to go with the whole uh, overlord motif here. <laughs> you know, and uh, what is it? He's got, yeah, he's got, like, dark elves. Yeah, the dark elves and what else? <laughs> That's been a while. I didn't like Season 4. I, I, I'm sorry, guys, but I did not like Season 4 of Overlord. It just wasn't my cup of tea, man. It just... Mm, it didn't hit the same as the first two seasons. I didn't like... Se season 3 was kind of, you know, it was okay, I guess, but... Man. I don't know. I, I was just... I, I was bored through all of Season 4. I was like, come on, do some cool stuff, man. Something's gotta happen. There was, like, a couple fights, but they weren't any good. I didn't, I didn't like it. I didn't like... Where the story was going, I thought kind of the decisions that were made by the characters were lame. It's, it's, whatever, man. Look at this, we have filled 109 of these journals. That's pretty dang good. Uh, we're definitely not gonna, oh, this is kind of a spooky pool. Let's get those archers nice and standing next to each other. They don't need to social distance, they're skeletons, they'll be okay. Hey, that one backed off. That's not cool. So maybe we need to, oh, look at all the damage they're doing. It's okay, though. I'm a, hey, I'm a, I'm a master of the dark arts, apparently. You know, I, I paid attention in Hogwarts. <laughs> okay, let's grow big. We're getting, we're getting beat up here. We're taking some, oh no, don't loot. Do not loot. You shall not redeem the loot. Alright, we really gotta kill these archers. I'm, I'm bearing up. I'm freaking, I'm sitting on the bear. I'm waiting on my cooldowns. This bear... Just dodge on the bear. Okay, cooldowns. We got them. We're dropping another little heal E. I am very slow. I normally clear way more efficiently than this, but it is, at, you know, it is. My attention is divided with you guys talking to y'all, trying to be entertaining, talking about studying the dark arts in Hogwarts. <laughs> guys, the new Hogwarts game, I'm going to say it right now, it looks bad. It is not. What the hell? Did I get shot by a whispering bow? Um, <laughs> anyway. And so, so anyway, I started fast. Get these melees. Come on, join the, join the fight. Let's go. Everybody huddle up. But yeah, the, the Hogwarts, they released like a, like a kind of a dev blog thing, right? And the game looks not finished. It doesn't look near, it looks jank as heck. Like I'm talking Mass Effect 3 faces. Oh no, they, they despawn my bear. How dare you? It's okay, though. They're all down. They didn't drop any items. That was the first pull that didn't drop anything. A bunch of stingy skeletons. They're, these guys are minimalists. They don't carry any loot. What the heck? Look at that. They're just popping back in. Get rid of these archers. And yes, I could go into the dungeon. 
Um, but I've actually found that the fame per minute is way better outside than inside the dungeon. Um, unless there's a lot of people out here, which there was that one axe guy kind of running around. I think there's one other dude. I'm just going to stand in this because I can just AoE him down. Just do a little man-to-man -man fight mode. But yeah, the Hogwarts, oh, it's not looking good, man. Like, the Mass, it's got Mass Effect 3 faces. Like, you talk to an NP, oh, that's a nice bull, except for the skeleton? Can I, can I get these? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm, let's get them all around the corner, boys. Let's go. Don't shock the outsiders. Ooh, that was a big hit. But yeah, um, the, like, if you've ever seen Mass Effect 3, how goofy the facial expressions look, that's what it looked like in the, in the trailer demo dev vlog that, that they had going on, okay? It looked brutal. Oh, dang. I almost died there. Y'all see that? Y'all see my health drop? It's okay, though. We're all right. Just gotta finish off this last night, and we're fine. We're okay. We're okay. Facial expressions were goofy as hell. Like, you're talking to an NPC, he's happy, sad, confused, and then, it, like, like really sly-looking, all in, like, the span of three seconds. It's very unnatural and just stupid-looking. Let's get melees. Let's go. There's one archer here. We're gonna pile on, pile on the archer. Get this knight. It, this pull became dangerous just now. This is now a dangerous pull. Look at my HP. It's gonna start dropping like like crazy. Oh, there's another melee. This is oh, this is gonna be juicy though if we pull it off. If we do this, we are gonna be a legendary hero. <laughs> oh, I might have to like run away from this one, dude. I am. I gotta kill that dang archer. You see him? He's the menace of the group. He is. I'm po I'm gonna drink a potion just because I'm afraid. I am afraid. Yeah, I have a good reason to be afraid. Dodge, uh, run away. The ar I didn't kill the archer. Look at him, he's gonna kill me. Screw you, archer, die. Yeah, see? No, I got stuck in the corner. Oh, drop, 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 drop. Ah, oh, dang, they got me, yeah. Oh, I panicked. See, I don't normally panic if I'm not recording. <laughs> it's 200,000, it's fine. It's just 200,000 silver. It's, it's totally worth it. <laughs> it's totally worth it, guys. Because I am, I'm gonna make that up with the the uh, what is it the, the faction points that I'm that I earned. Okay, I should have just mounted up on the bear instead of ran away. And if those mobs weren't there, I could have kept going and reset. But it's fine, it's fine. And you can say, well, what about all the equipment in my inventory? Yeah, it, it's all cheap stuff, dude. I've already. Don't worry, I'll make the money back. We're gonna do <laughs> do the pull again here. Because these are all glowing mobs, and it's the damn archer. I didn't kill the archer fast enough. That w Whenever you do a pull like this, like it would have been smarter if I just killed the archer and then then pulled all the melee. But I, I got greedy. It's I can normally do it, okay? I just want to be cool for the camera. Jeez. I just want to be cool for you guys, man. I never get to be cool in my life. I'm always like just some reclusive dude. I'm just a ghost. That's how my life was. I just grew up a ghost. No one even knew I existed until I started making album videos. Jeez. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, so, uh, it looks like my roast is about to run out, and that's fine. Uh, uh, three archers, man. Why, am, why do I do this? Just kill the archers and then grab all them. Oh, don't even touch that archer. That would be four archers? Are you crazy, bro? Don't, don't even think about trying to fight four archers. You're insane. Maybe an 8.4. <laughs> Look at this archer! Get! I have to despawn my bear because I have to freaking kite the archers together. Get that hellion jacket pumping. Get it pumping. See? Look, the archers, they dodge my puddles. There we go. Everyone's dead. Well, not me. We don't ever truly die. We just kneel down in the... It's the blue zone. You don't die. You don't die in Albion Online unless you leave the blue and yellow zones, man. There is no death. No, I don't want the tier two. I don't want it. I don't want the tier two. Get out of here, too. Get out of here. And we have 147 of these filled. That's more than enough to cover the laborers that I I have, basically. All right, let's grab melees. I didn't want to grab that wizard, though. That sucks. Let's try to jumble in together somehow. See, the wizard will freeze me. And okay, they're kind of they're kind of clustered. We'll go ahead and start popping them out here. It's a little hard to see, but that's okay. We got a minute or so left on our roast pork. You can't do these pulls without the roast pork. It's just too damn hard. Okay. 
Alright. If I had a better healing potion, I would have lived earlier. I should probably upgrade to like 6.1s, but I have crafted thousands of 4.1s because I was leveling potion crafting a long time ago, like years ago. These potions are stale. They're probably out of date. They're probably like got mold on the bottom of the bottles and stuff, but hey, maybe it's like the healing mold, mold you know? It's like the mold that, uh, that you want. Yo, this guy's like trying to clear the chest and stuff. Let's see, okay, so are, do we have enough? Let's see, what can I, any more pulls? I should maybe like do one more, no, I don't have time to do one more pull, that is it. Five seconds on the roast pork and then the servers go down in 10 minutes. So we managed to fill 150 plus all the other ones and uh, 77 still empty, but that's okay. I, I have gathering to do. I'm going to fill, I'm going to fill these up just by crafting. Like my, my chef's character will be ready in about 12 hours. So uh, that's, you know, that's going to easily fill up these journals anyway, but hey, we did it. <laughs> we got so many of these filled. What about faction war? 15,000 points. That's a lot. <laughs> Oh, that's so many. That's uh, that's that's a free chest right there. Uh, let's sh let me show you that repair bill, okay? Let's see it. Hundred six, not even two hundred thousand. Look at that. Only one hundred six. Oh, the global discount. That's right. Duh, I forgot about that. So one hundred sixty plus forty two k. That'd be it's like two hundred two thousand, man. Yeah. But hey, global discount. Am I right, guys? You know everything's cheap right now. I don't know why the global discounts in the game. That's I haven't seen that in like five years. <laughs> All right, we buy a little chest. Here we go. We bought ourselves a little chest. We're gonna open this bad boy. Look at that, beautiful. That's 20k. That's another 20k. That's 37. Ooh. So you know, they almost paid for the uh, the repairs. That's 200k in fame. That's a little less than usual. Uh, go ahead and eat that. Eat, eat the silver. Just it's like coins. You just chew them up, and suddenly you feel enriched. All right, cool stuff, and um, you know what? I'm gonna get a, an estimate of our gear real quick. Let me just look at all these friggin' islands, man. There's too much text on them now. I'm gonna dump the uh, the what is it? The, the generalist trophy journals into a chest so we can see the value of all the loot we grabbed in today's little adventure. There are more. I get those in there too. Okay, so today's loot looks like it is worth. 362,000, okay, and then we had the silver bags, so like 382,000, and then, remember, I'm picking up silver as I kill stuff, so that's another 30 to 60, oh, don't, don't wear the tier 3 bag, no, ew, <laughs> ew, uh, so, yeah, we, you know, we, we, it's not a lot of silver, but, uh, oh, combat fame credits, we're almost at 32 million, <laughs> this was 31.6 when we checked it earlier in the video, I think it was 31.4 when I started, uh, so we made 500k combat frame, frame credits in that 30 minutes, about a million regular fame. Uh, anyway, that's it. You know, just showing you how to, how I fill up my, my, my trophy journals, okay? Uh, if you, if you want to watch me put trophy journals in laborers, I've got a video on my channel where I do that. Anyway, guys, I'm Swole Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a road, stay swole. And oh, I hate this bug. Look at it. The, in, the inventory screen, like, bleeds into the, the marketplace screen. It's ugly. It's stupid. It looks ridiculous. Uh, anyway, uh, videos every single day on this channel, so um, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss tomorrow's video. It could be about anything. Probably something useful, maybe not. Who knows? It's something you can watch while you eat food or whatever. Let me know in the comments what you ate while watching this. Okay? Uh, also, uh, if you want to donate, you can click the thanks button down below and feed me a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> um, you could also... Click the join button, and uh, I've got some really good um, members-only videos. If you check the, um, there's a pinned comment. You can check the playlist in the pinned comment, uh, and, and check out the members-only videos. Uh, some of them were super useful, especially on the 20th when the patch dropped a day early. It was a huge oversight by SBI that allowed people to become overnight billionaires. And, um, I have a video about how, how that works. It, it, the, it happened one other time in Albion's history five years ago. It happened one day five years ago, and it happened on the 20th. Today is the 22nd, so it happened two days ago, my time. But yeah, um, if you're a channel member, you know now, and when it happens again in the late, late future, who knows how many years from now, you can become an overnight billionaire in Albion Online. That's right. So, uh, also, that's, that's all I've really got, guys. So, 
on screen right now is a video that you should absolutely click google you know they, they know you in and out they know you better than you know yourself okay are you gonna are you gonna say no to google click that video on screen make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss tomorrow's video i'll see you then Mwah.